Okay, so let's start our today's session in uh, under the interview questions under series. Today we are going to see some more couple of questions. So my the ne next question is what is foreign key relationship and what are the another terms used for this? So I'm giving you five seconds. Give some answer over here. What are the another terms used for this? Okay. Just you can ping me over here. What are the another terms used for the foreign key relationship? Okay. What are the another terms used for the foreign key relationship? Fine. I didn't get the answer. I will give you the answer. Another term for the foreign key relationship is check table and the differential integrity. Okay. Check table and a differential integrity. Check table and the differential integrity both is same thing. Okay. What is the use of this foreign key relationship or this check table or a differential integrity? This is my next question. What is the use of check table or foreign key relationship or a differential integrity? Okay. This is my next question. Okay. Tell me the answer. What is the use of the question is what is the use of this check table concept? Okay. The question is what is the use of check table concept? This is the question. So what is the use of check table concept? So check table concept is used to restrict the entry on the based upon the dependent table okay if you want to restrict the entry in a table then what we can do that we can apply the check table on that particular field we can apply the referential integrity on that particular field so that you know our entry will be restricted we will not be able to put the unnecessary data this concept we have seen in our class right so here this much only okay now now the question is what is value table this is the right place which we can discuss about the value table what is value table what is value table this is the question what is value table Check table, we discussed what is value table. Any answer over here? So what is value table? So value table is nothing but, you know, this is just for proposing while creating the check table. So whatever the value table you define at the domain level, when you are going to create the check table at the field level in the in the table at that point of time that value table will be proposed as a check table that the, their significance is this much only you know it will not populate as a search help or it will not populate as a you know uh, something like that so it's a significance is you know that much only so this uh, value table now what is the difference between Check table and value table. This is another question. What is the difference between check table and value table? So tell me some differences. What is the difference between check table and value table? Okay. So you can tell me some differences over here. And I will just so check table I didn't get any difference till now I am just going to write it over here okay check table and value table this is very important interview question okay just remember this one it's going to be very important interview question check table it is at field level in database table Okay, value table it is at domain level, right? It's a domain level check table. It will be proposed as a search help. 
okay it will be proposed as a search help it will behave like a search help it will behave like a search help it will behave like a search help right this value table will not behave like a search help this will not behave like a search help this will only proposed when you are going to create check table this will be this will be only proposed as a check table as a check table when you are going to create the foreign key relationship right foreign key relationship or when you are going to create the check table at that time this will be proposed as a check table okay so that is the thing so when you are going to create the foreign key relationship for a field on table level okay so this is the uh, difference you know uh, check table this is this is this is to validate the data this is to validate the data how however this value table it is not for validation of the data it is not for validation of the data okay so these are the important differences now what is client dependent and what is client independent okay and how to achieve the client dependency in the database table like when we are going to create the table in sc11 which field we are going to use in order to you know make a table client dependent so the my question is over here one this can be one important interview question what field can be used for the purpose of making a making a table client dependent okay first give me the first answer which field we have to use okay good so we have to use the mndt field right so if we're going to include this mndt field while creating a table that means the table is going to be client dependent if you will not include this mndt field then your table will be client independent very good now you know now the question is what is primary index and when primary index gets created you know what is primary index so the question my question over here is you know what is primary index and when primary index is generated okay so this answer just tell me first what is primary index and when primary index primary index is generated okay what is primary index and when primary index is generated so i didn't get any answer over here till now fine i'm going to tell you so primary index is nothing but this automatically gets generated on the primary key field of a database table okay and this index concept we know that it improves the performance when we are going to select some data from the database table indexing if index is over there then the searching will be fast that's why whenever you are going to search anything from the database table based upon the key field the search is going to be fast because automatically on the primary key 
primary index is generated okay that's the reason so primary index gets generated automatically on the primary key okay and what is the index if someone is going to ask what is the index so index is nothing but so index is a copy index is a copy of the content in the temporary memory in the sorted way okay so suppose some field you are having over here this is a uh, this is some field you are having suppose here it is in unsorted way and when you are going to create the index on this particular field where it is a primary index or secondary index when you are going to create the index one copy of this uh, content will be created in the memory area another means in the uh, in separately in the memory and it will get sorted and it will start pointing to the original content okay so here it will be sorting and if something is sorted then what will happen searching will be fast because you can use over there internally the binary search okay so index is nothing but a copy of the content in the separate memory area in the sorted order okay you have to remember like this and index is of two types how many types of index okay so here I will give that I'm going to write that question how many types of index so you have two types of index you have so the question will be like this what is index what is index and what are the different types of index so your answer should be like this okay so your answer should be like this index is the <coughs> sorted content in the separate memory separate memory pointing to the original content right pointing to the original content okay so this is the index index is of two types right index is of two types one is the primary index and another is the secondary index right one is the primary index just we have discussed and another is the secondary index so secondary index you will have to create manually it has to be created manually and the primary index gets created automatically it gets created automatically on which particular field it gets automatically created fast fast good so it gets created automatically on the primary key field very good so it automatically gets created based upon the primary key secondary index need to be created manually okay fine so this is the concept how many maximum secondary index we are supposed to create how many maximum secondary index we are supposed to create so 16 is recommended maximum more than 16 secondary index we are not supposed to create okay so good here maximum the 16 somewhere you will see 9 somewhere you will see 16 okay but we can consider 16 as a maximum the fund of fox is that actually maximum secondary index we are not supposed to create okay why we are not supposed to create maximum secondary index why why means why we are not supposed to create many secondary index why we are not supposed to create many secondary indexes answer is why answer is database overhead and database overhead okay why because see whenever you create the secondary index one temporary memory gets allocated and content will be copied over there and going to get sorted right so suppose if you have 
many secondary index and you are going to change anything in your database table then everywhere it has to get adjusted right so it it becomes the database overhead everywhere everywhere it, it need to be sorted in all the secondary indexes it has to get adjusted that's why that's why we are not supposed to create the many secondary index okay in interview interviewer can ask can we create many secondary index we can tell no we are not supposed to create many secondary index maximum 9 or 16 you can tell like uh, I have never seen in any deco documentation but when I google it or like even if we are going to create more than 16 it will allow more than 20 it will allow but uh, like uh, uh, somewhere it has written 9 somewhere it has written 16 so we cannot tell but you can tell 9, 9 or 16 that's fine there is no problem okay but the overall things is we have to avoid the maximum second index if it is not required we have to keep it minimal okay so that's the database overhead we have understood what's the difference between primary uh, uh, index and second index just we understood the difference primary index gets created automatically and based upon the primary key right and the secondary index we have to create manually right and maximum 9 or 16 uh, we, uh, it's a given by right and we are not supposed to create maximum uh, secondary index correct so this is what uh, we can tell now uh, secondary index we have already you know uh, written in detail over here about the secondary index you can just read once okay fine so let's do one thing we'll stop it over here today and to, to tomorrow we'll see about the buffer concept okay so tomorrow we'll be looking into this I'm going to start